Hey there! Ever heard that the universe began with the Big Bang? Yeah, me too. But what if I told you that might not be the whole story? Recently, a group of scientists from the University of Naples in Italy published something fascinating. They believe that the universe didn't actually begin with the Big Bang. I know, I know. It sounds wild, right? Let's break it down step by step in a way that's easy to wrap your head around. The old idea, the universe is always here first. Let's go back about 100 years. Back then, people thought the universe was eternal, like it had always been there, unchanging and constant. That idea made sense at the time, but there was a big problem with it. You see, if the universe had been around forever, all the stars would have been creating light and heat for an infinite amount of time. That means the sky should be unbearably bright and hot, right? But as we all know, the night sky is dark. Something wasn't adding up. The big discovery, the expanding universe. Then along came a scientist named Hubble. He discovered something huge. The universe is expanding. This was a game changer. If the universe is expanding now, it means that at some point it must have been smaller. Imagine rolling a ball on a table. If you reverse the video of the ball rolling, you can see exactly where it started. Similarly, scientists realized that if they reverse the universe's expansion, it all points back to one small, incredibly dense point. And that's where the idea of the Big Bang came from, the moment when the universe was infinitely small and then exploded into existence. Enter the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. According to this idea, the universe began about 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. Everything, space, time, matter came from this incredibly tiny, hot and dense point. As the universe expanded, galaxies, stars and planets, including our Earth, formed. This also explains why the night sky is dark. Because the universe isn't infinite and it hasn't been around forever. It's still expanding, which means it had a starting point. But wait, what if that starting point wasn't the Big Bang? The new theory, the bouncing universe. Here's where things get really interesting. Recently, the research team from Naples came up with a different idea. Instead of the Big Bang being the absolute beginning of everything, they think it's just part of a much bigger process. Picture the universe as a bouncy ball. According to their theory, called the bouncing universe, the universe expands and contracts, like the ball bouncing back and forth. It stretches out, contracts into a tiny point, and then expands again. In this model, the Big Bang wasn't the start of everything. Instead, it was just one of those times when the universe was at its smallest point before bouncing back out again. Pretty mind-blowing, right? What about black holes and dark matter? One of the biggest mysteries in space is the existence of supermassive black holes and dark matter. Supermassive black holes are gigantic black holes found at the centers of galaxies, and they are millions of times more massive than the Sun. But where did they come from? That's a tough question, because we don't see enough smaller, medium-sized black holes that should have formed first. The researchers think this is where the bouncing universe theory helps. They suggest that before the last big bounce, there were already tiny, super-dense black holes forming, called primordial black holes. These could explain why we see supermassive black holes today. And as for dark matter, that mysterious stuff that makes up most of the universe but we can't see, they think that could also be linked to this bouncing process. What's next? How do we prove it? Here's the catch. Right now, we don't have direct evidence that this bouncing universe theory is true. But scientists are optimistic that we might get some clues soon. They're using tools like gravitational wave detectors, think of them as super-sensitive space microphones, to listen for ripples in space-time. These ripples happen when black holes are formed, and if we can detect primordial black holes from the very early universe, it might just back up the bouncing universe theory. Why is this important? If the bouncing universe theory is correct, it means that the universe has no true beginning or end. It keeps expanding, contracting and starting over again, maybe infinitely. 
That's pretty cool because it changes how we think about the universe's history and future. It also helps explain some of the weird things we observe in space, like those massive black holes and the distribution of matter. The big question, when will the universe bounce again? One last thing to leave you thinking. Right now, we know the universe is expanding and it's doing so faster and faster thanks to something called dark energy. But at some point, could it stop expanding and start contracting again? That's what the researchers are wondering. If the universe eventually does shrink down to a tiny point again, that could lead to another big bounce. In short, the idea that the universe might not have started with the Big Bang, but could instead be part of an endless cycle of expansions and contractions, opens up a whole new way of thinking about everything. Exciting times ahead in the world of space exploration and cosmology.